Hello and welcome to the video. This one should be pretty quick, just an entry into a group build. And that group build is the small scale group build hosted by BG over at BG's Model Workshop and Sean over the Scale Model Car Guy channel. Again, it is the small scale group build hosted in the smallest month of the year, which is obviously February, which we've already started. We're a week into it, and I'm just now making the announcement, so I'm really handcuffing myself, making the month even shorter. I seem to have a habit of starting my group builds really late and struggling to finish on time, but hopefully we can uh, buckle down, make up some lost time here in this one. But I do want to thank these guys for hosting this, because I likely would have never dabbled into the small scale, at least nothing in the near future. I just so happened to have the Cadillac kit purchased unknowing that it was a small scale at the time. Open it up, small scale, multi-piece body, just kind of uh, threw it to the side, didn't think about it again. Until the group build came up, went digging through my stash, see if I had anything. Come across this guy, it was small scale, so why not? Let's give it a go. I do enjoy vintage style kits. This is from 1955, 1956 tooling. So we got some vintage, we'll give it a go. See what all the fuss is about in these uh, multi-piece body kits. Well, we got into it and started being really impressed by the kits with the detail, uh, the figures, the engine detail, things like that. The multi-piece body wasn't too bad, just a lot of test fitting. It'll go together. Again, I had a lot of fun with it. I think it turned out really nice. Again, here it is, the 56 Cadillac Eldorado Brits. Uh, it has been recently released by uh, Atlantis. I think a few other guys are doing this kit, but again, I had a lot of fun. I think it turned out really nice. We even did some flocking and everything in there. Even get to dabble with some figure painting with these kits. They all come with multiple figures, so that's kind of neat too. Bare metal foil, and again, another thing that I was impressed by was under the hood for a small scale. Usually just kind of see a block of an engine. Not that it's a whole lot more than that, but it is a, a pretty nice example of an engine under there. Again, for being 1955, your expectations are a little bit lower, but the outcome was pretty impressive in my opinion. So I decided I want to do all of them that came out in this little run in 1955, 1956. Started doing a lot of research. Uh, figuring out how many were released, what ones were released, which ones haven't been re-released, things like that. Keeping my eye open for some more of these kits. Knowing that I want to do these at least each year here in the group build. So I did pick up one. And that was because I knew it was one of the rare ones when I came up. And that is the Buick Century customizing kit. Again, 1956 only release on this guy. Pretty rare kit. Each 1230-129. So I was super excited to get this. I love, love the Tri-5 uh, GM cars, so the Buick is nice. We've got pretty much a completely mint kit in here. Totally untouched, ready to go, except for one small thing. And it's got no back seat in it. So, unfortunately, not ready to build this one. If anybody's got a back seat for one of these small-scale Buick Centuries, please let me know. I would like to build this someday. I've kind of been watching for some builders or rebuilders. I did pick up a lot of them. Uh, we've got a little New Yorker here. We even got a Buick. I was super excited. There's a nice parts Buick. Well, you take the top off and, well, it's back seats. Uh, no good as well. So I guess we'll keep this one. We can still customize this or do something with it in the meantime, but still in the need of a back seat. I do have another Cadillac. I think this is another. These are all original releases, but again, we've got some parts for future projects, but I still need a complete kit to work with. So on to eBay, buy a couple of kits. We'll start with this one because it's a customizing kit. This is the Chrysler New Yorker. This is a 96 release, same as the Cadillac. They repop these old school box arts. This one is sealed. But we're, I think we're going to pass on this one. We are going to do the stockers before the customizing kits. So look forward to that one in the future. The one we are actually going to build this year is the Continental Mark II. This is before it became a Lincoln Division car. That is a good looking car. Big, beautiful, luxury beast. Again, Revell accurately scaled. This is a 95-96 re-release of the originals. With movable hood, exact scale engine, chassis, and the two figures. 
So we get a driver and a lady going around the kit. Give you a little look at the box art. We will do a box opening. We'll probably pop that up on Wednesday this week if you want to see inside. I assume it's going to be the same as the Cadillac. Kind of slab sides, separate roof, separate trunk area, all the good stuff with the multi-piece engines and stuff like that. So look forward to that. Look forward to the group build. Thanks, guys, for hosting us, giving me a new addiction with these Ravel small scales. And with that, we'll see you next time.